In today's video, we will be configuring an Alcatel Lucent virtual chassis, also known as a switch stack. In this example, we will be creating a stack of two switches. However, adding more after following this guide is very simple. First, we will want to log into our first or primary switch and make sure we are running the desired microcode for our entire stack. Do this by running the command show microcode. Next, we want to check any existing virtual chassis configuration. This may be from a previous deployment or the default. We can do this by using the command show virtual chassis topology. Viewing the entire virtual chassis configuration file is also useful. We can do this with the command cat working slash v c setup dot cfg. Here, we can see all the configuration commands for virtual chassis on our switch. If the file says it does not exist, save your switch with the command write memory flash synchro. This will generate the file. As this is going to be our primary switch, we want to make sure we have a few things configured. First, let's make sure the switch is configured with the chassis ID number one then we will want to set the virtual chassis priority. We will do this with the command virtual chassis, chassis ID number one, configured chassis priority 200. This sets the switch stack priority number for this switch. This means this member in the chassis will take over master from any other switch with a lower priority. Write this to our VC setup file by saving the switch with write memory flash synchro. Once saved, we can view our configuration file again. Next, we want to edit this file. Alcatel Lucent switches support the VI text editor. Run the command V iWorking slash V C setup dot CFG. Press the I key and use your arrow keys to move around the file. First, let's replace the chassis group ID with one we will configure on all switches we want to put into this stack. For this example, we used ID 100. We already configured our chassis priority, so we can save and quit the editor by pressing escape, followed by colon WQ, then return. We can now reload our primary switch with the command reload from working no rollback timeout. While that switch is reloading, let's get started on configuring our secondary switch. Like on switch one, our VC setup file does not exist. So issue the command write memory flash synchro to generate this file. Once saved, let's view the file with catworking slash v c setup dot cfg and set our priority with the command virtual chassis chassis ID one configured chassis priority, 150. It's worth noting that although this is switch two in our chassis, we will configure it as switch one, then edit the values later in the VC setup file. As this priority is lower than our first member, but remaining higher than the default priority 100. We know this switch will always take over master if our first switch was subject to a failure. Write this to our VC setup file with write memory flash synchro. Once saved, we can now edit our VC setup file. Like before, use the command V I working slash VC setup dot CFG. Press the I key and use your arrow keys to move around the file. We will need to reconfigure all parts in the file to make this switch chassis ID number two instead of number one. We also need to update the chassis group ID to 100 to match switch one. Once done, save and quit the editor by pressing escape followed by colon WQ, then return.
we can now reload our secondary switch with the command reload from working no rollback timeout. As your switch is reloading, you can now plug in your VFL cables to connect your primary and secondary switch together. In our case, we are using VFL ports 53 and 54 on both switches. Keep a lookout for the VCM messages. Your secondary switch should join the virtual chassis. It will then reload and rejoin the virtual chassis again. Once this is done, log back into your primary switch. View the virtual chassis with the command show virtual chassis topology. The plus symbol next to our secondary member indicates the switch has been added, but not yet synchronized. Issue the command write memory flash synchro. This will sync the configuration across all switches in the virtual chassis. Both your switches are now able to be administrated as a single logical node. To add more switches, you can simply use the VFL ports to daisy chain up to eight switches with most models. As we have already set the primary and secondary switch, there would be no configuration required for further switches. Just connect them one at a time and allow them to use Alcatel Lucent Autofabric. It may take a few minutes for each switch to join the chassis and reload. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.